fiesta. You and me. See, these ain't automatic. It's not Walmart. Girl, you better push through. La, 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 fiesta. My hair is out. I honestly should get like a buggy for real, for real. Because um, there's going to be a few things that I'm going to get out of here for dinner again. Ooh, look at all the meat. You never run out of meat here. I'm going to try to find something that's a little bit like, I don't know what. I kind of want to do like a steak or something like that, honestly. But I want to get a cheaper steak. And so the skirt steak usually is a good idea, but it's so thin sometimes that it's like, eh, it's hard to chew. Um, let's see what they have in other ounces and varieties. $2.84 beef shoulder steak. Uh, I don't know. We got this right here for nine dollars. Nah, I think I might like do a five. No, there's another two dollars and seventy eight cents, but nah. I want to make I want to make kibachi tonight, but I don't know if I should make kibachi tonight because I feel like the Yellow's house is gonna be a budget. This is ribeye steak right here for five oh nine, but that'll blow our budget out of the bag because budget today is like five bucks, and this one is four. Okay, ribeye steak four thirty seven. We can do something with that. Um, and then they have one right here, but it looks a little discolored, so I don't want to do that one. And that's beef shoulder steak anyway. And so, I don't see any others that are a possibility. All right, so this is the second option right here. I don't know if I'm going to get this one, but this one is $4.91. This one is $3.4.37. So there's two options there. I'm going to pick a third one just in case. They do have the capability of cutting you a piece, but I don't want to just have them cut me a piece for no reason. Um, you know? all these different chickens i have this one right here but i think i'm gonna get this one right here because this one is for sure and that one is pre-packaged and maybe i can get like a pound and a half of that this is the one right here that i got i'm gonna try to get a different one that's a little cheaper but i don't know 0.88 pounds with the do it up now i got some of this right here Right, we got some carrots right here for 109, but I think we got some other carrots for a little bit cheaper than this. Oh, shoot. We're gonna grab some uh, carrots. It's pretty. Actually, it looks better in real life than it does on camera. Um, I don't know what's going on with iPhone. Oh, that's perfect. So cool. Carrots, two. Grab one more. Boom. Got some produce for a dollar sixty nine. Open that bag. It's gonna have some uh, These potatoes, they got, red, they got red potatoes and rosette. I don't know how to say it. Potatoes. These could take a little longer to cook um, than the ones that I have that are at 99 cents a pound. And these ones right here take like seconds to cook. They're, they're already soft. And so I'm going to get these ones right here that are 79 cents a pound over the one that's 99 cents a pound. I would get this one right here, but I don't got time to be sitting all day waiting for the potato to come through. Oh, shoot. What well, about the, the green beans at? Oh, shoot. I guess I'll put them back. Back in our dock. Cool. So cool. We got the uh, carrots, these potatoes, these red potatoes as well. Uh, this. I think I'm gonna put this meat back. I think I'm gonna just get this right here. That's it. Definitely not on budget. We're gonna get them though. Uh, zebra cake rolls. Alright, boys and girls. This is what we have so far. Boom. Mashed potatoes. Red potato. That's a lot of potatoes. I'm putting these potatoes back because I already got a lot of potatoes. So I'm putting these potatoes back. Out of these two, I'm going to stick with the red potatoes because they're cheaper. I got these chunks right here, but these chunks are like 
it's, it's these chunks are literally $5.12. And this right here is $4.37. So I'm gonna get this. This right here was some extra meat that I was gonna fry up, but I'm not gonna fry it anymore. So I'm gonna put that back in the fridge. And honestly, these beans, I really don't need, unless I want it as an extra uh, vegetable to have, but I really don't really need them. So we're good to go, and it's time to check out. 97 cents each, and they look so good. They're like these like fresh donuts. And I am so freaking excited about like diving ones. I've been looking at them for a long time. So I'm gonna find one that I want because they're all 97 cents. And I'm gonna get me one today. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Man, it's so good. I wanna try something different. Zizu, I already know what I want. So we're gonna just go for it. And I'll show y'all who I want. My, uh, my sweet treat. I'm gonna show you guys what I got when I get to the house. Because I don't wanna. We're gonna keep that as a surprise. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, so, I'm so close to just biting into it right now to see what it tastes like. But I know I need to put it in the microwave or the oven. So it can get like really, really warm and crisp. But I do see some regular sweet treats over here. That's from America. That um, mouth is watering like spotties on a cold, cold day, and there's soup on the, on the, on the uh register. What's the register? Man, okay, we go to the register. As a kid, we would. My mom would always talk about bonbons, and I never understood what she was talking about. So these are real bonbons. Um, and yeah, like they're so cool. So. Two for a dollar, which is kind of expensive, but I grabbed these right here. Um, I'm gonna, that's what the Holy Spirit led me to, so I'm gonna try it out. I don't know what this is, but nah, I'm not gonna get it. Actually, I might get this one. Yeah. If it's hard, because then I wanna get this one. Okay, we're gonna figure this out here. All right, yeah. It's so small, I can literally open it up and eat it, but man, when I still carry it out the store and I eat it and put it in my mouth, it don't taste the same. It's like, man, this ain't, I know I ain't paid for this. And so, you know, you know you be, you know it's like, come on now, you know? So, yeah, I'm just like, yeah. Um, I'm trying to find some cheaper candies and stuff like that, but I don't think nothing else here. It's my eyes, so it's time to get to La, la Casa. What's that? Chips, candies, and nuts. No, I'm good. Okay. Over there. Some candies on this side. Let me get to the checkout line. Ooh, what's this? $1.49 on sale? What is it? I had it before. Creamy candy, 12 piece. I want to get it, but I want something that has a crunch to it today, so I'm going to pass on it for today. Even though it's a great price. I want something, I need like a, a, a like a, you know, I don't even feel like having these guys right here, and I always get those or these. Like, I'm not in the mood for that either. I'm just trying to get something that I can actually like snack on. So. Let me see what they have right here. It's like a little circular candy. Let's see. Ooh, coconut candy. That might be blessing. It might be good. I don't know. Coconut candy? But I already have a coconut entire cake. Could be stinky, so that's 99 cents. So I'm good. I'm good on that. All right. Wait, what is this? The chocolate? Oh, this is like a, one of those marshmallow faces that you can eat. I'm not gonna do that either. That would be good, but nah. It's only 87 cents, but I'm not in the mood for that either. Ooh, I should get some. Ooh, those things are two dollars seventy-seven cents. We entrepreneurs. Not today. Shoot, maybe next week when God sends some more work, but not today. Shoot, we just paid our bills, and so we are choosing wisely what we will 
purchase, even though we have more money that came in, honestly, today, we're not going to um, go over like we're, you know, rich just yet, even though we are rich in Jesus. But still, we are just going to slowly but surely spend the money that we received. Um, and this right here is two seventy dollars. I don't see anything cheaper than. Okay, they have ginger here for dollar seventy seven. We can do that. Dollar seventy seven. Dollar seventy seven. Ain't nobody get one free over here. So what we can do is this ginger. This ginger right here. Can address actually fire. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna get one bottle of that. Or we can get that Star Kiss. But now nah, we're gonna go with the can of the drive. Drive. Yeah, can of the drive. But these right here. Uh, 124 I could go with that but now nah, I want to go with that I don't want to go with that because that's you basically that big bottle let me see the ounces on it the ounces on this one is two liters 2.1 quarts comparative to 1.58 quarts 1.5 liters and so you're getting cheated out of not cheated but you got to pick what you want wisely the best that you can um you know using discernment and uh the servant discretion same not same but similar right yeah all right see you guys at the Thanks. moment of this is the moment of truth to see how much we really paid for all this food stamps. Yeah. see that's our trip to fiesta 12.83 is what i spent plus a dollar 19 that was off of another card so that really doesn't count within this budget and so super happy super excited and um leave it fiesta <laughs> what is that the, and this is the the thumbnail that would be hilarious. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. I'm still getting used to editing thumbnails. That was not a strong suit of mine before um, anything. So, um, I've always been, dang, so anybody here, where to go? Um, for a while. Right. Trying to get all these groceries inside. Right, I already tried one candy. Now I'm gonna try this one right here. Ooh. Try this one right here. This is the bonbon, the strawberry one. No, that's not strawberry. This is yellow. The strawberry one is in the back. If y'all saw Spotty, he's about five inches away from the camera and three inches away from my hand and licking his lips like his lips is in the hard as desert. What it looks like on the inside. Mmm. Yeah. Tastes like the same one I'm just get. Mm-hmm. 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 That one, a seven out of ten. One of my mom's getting to be a little more sweeter. All right, I'm back to the cribbo. Let's go back to the house. I'm gonna try the strawberry one. Let's see how this tastes. Look like. This one right here was kind of nasty, honestly. Um, so, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is really for the vlog to show you guys what it tastes like and what it looks like. It's so dry. Not like a wafer. Like it's like a wafer, but it's a dry wafer. And the chocolate's kind of like bitter. I'm like, eh, taste it still a little bit. All right, so now we have the, or, I don't know what it's called, but boom. It's like a turtle, chocolate turtle. Actually, I'm gonna wait to eat this for later. I do wanna try it later though. It's like coconut. You know, like chocolate be like chocolate. It's like coconut. Like coca. <sighs> Sisters comes on tonight. If you guys watch this is on BT. Tune in. And y'all think I should do like a sister's like watch party on my uh, YouTube every time it comes on? Let me know in the comments and I'll do that. And um, my hair is really growing out. It's wild. But yeah, because my hair was all black before. I mean, all gold before down to the roots and now it's literally grown out. Oh, something look different. Girl, your hair grow, girl. 
that's kind of actually fire. That shows how much my hair has grown ever since I put those braids in my hair. Because when I put the braids in my hair, I had all black hair. I mean, all gold hair. I didn't have any black in my hair. So that's wild. Jeez, my hair grew a lot. All right, so I got this water right here on. This is not going to be much of a cooking tutorial tonight. That's a lot of angles to grab. I'm going to do it. What? I am going to show you guys the process of me actually making the food, like how I chop it up and how I put in the, um, put in the pan. It's not going to be as uh, descriptive, all right? So be right back. All right, got the pan out. Got it all clean and ready to go. We're going to fill this up with some water. And we're going to season our water, okay? We're going to rinse off all of our um, different vegetables and um, not the meat, though. I don't rinse my meat like that. So we're going to rinse off the vegetables, put them in there, and let them uh, do their thing. So, boom. Got a red potato. Messing that all. Probably got the kitchen. A potato, and set it off, and put it inside the pot, just like that. Actually, I'm gonna chop this in half. We'll chop this in half. I wouldn't recommend anybody doing this. That I'm gonna show you guys how I chop it in half, okay? For this time, chop it in half like that. Then dump it in the water. Chop it in half. take these and snap them since they're carrots and put those in the pot rinse it off I'm not going to put the top in there but I'm going to give this to Spotty because Spotty likes stuff like this the other half give it to Spotty just throw it in the ground he'll go in and get it Get out of the kitchen. Out. Five. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out the kitchen. Alright, so I got my seasoning salt. Ooh, take the seasoning salt. Season that water really good. It would be great to have some chicken broth if we didn't get any chicken broth or beef broth. That would actually take it over the top, but it's all good. We're going to just do our thing for what we got. Got some of that. Got some onion. Going to do that in there. Boom. You have. Is this right here that I'm gonna heat up? I'm gonna keep it in the same. Actually, I'm not gonna keep it in the same. I'm gonna put it in one of the little trays that I have and put it in my microwave. We have our desserts. I'm about to put this up cool. here. So I'm gonna try this out, see how it tastes. It has a, some some strawberries in the center. So I'm super excited about it. Ooh, this is what I got. I forgot I never showed y'all what I got. This is a half of it. Mm. Man, that's so good. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. You like a donut, but not a donut. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's also very like sweet, but not too sweet. Blessing. Mm. Okay, this is doing this thing. I'm gonna let it boil, get right, you know bubble down and all the flavors come together from the natural ingredients like the potatoes and the carrots 
with all that blend. It smells amazing already, honestly. And then once it starts to get lower and thicker, I'm gonna add the meat in there so it can uh, stew down. I'm gonna chop this up as well, so I'm not gonna leave it like that. But I'm not chopping it right now. I'm gonna sit down because I have time. Alrighty, so that's why we allowed it to go in there whatever way you want it because it really didn't matter because I'm gonna chop it down anyway. So these are chopped down and uh, get, letting this still like do its thing, become kind of more of a, um, a, a small amount of water rather than so much liquid that it looks clear. Well, my end it doesn't look as clear. It's still, it's getting like that like earthy, like rich flavor in it. And I took the meat just now. I kind of like ripped it up, but also um, cut it with a knife. And so now it's time for, it's to get out of the kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. That's why he didn't eat his food. So we have our water kind of at a, a decent boil. Uh, not all the way there yet, but close. I'm gonna add a little more seasoning salt to this so that um, it could just be as hearty as possible. Rich, cause you see how like the, the water is turning colors. I like that. I like the fact that it's doing that because it's getting some uh, good uh, flavor in there. I'm gonna try a piece of this right here and see how it tastes. It feels like I'm making a crab boil without the crab. Definitely hot. Definitely good though. I'm gonna give it. I don't even want to give it no more time. I want to put some more meat in it. I'm going to put the meat in it now. And just uh, let it do its thing. I'm going to wash my hands first. So, boom. I'm going to get this right here. This is the rest from yesterday. Put it inside the bowl back there. The water could be a little bit hard, but I'm going to let it do its thing. All right. Put the rest of that rice, this rice inside that. I'm going to use this to stir it up. And uh, I'm going to pour out some of this water, though, from the rice. This is a little too much. Too much. That's it. Hmm. Perfect. Got the perfect amount of rice in there. Now it's time for me to add the meat. Meat right there. Actually, I'm gonna wait two, three more minutes, and then I'm gonna add the meat so this can cook down a little bit more and get more like stocky rather than watery, and it can get thicker. And so I'm gonna let it do its thing for a few. In a now it's time for me to put this meat in there. I'm gonna take it, spread it out. This meat is going to cook super fast. And the fact that this meat is thick is going to make the um, make this get a little more, like less water, more, more uh, like flavors and richness of like, just all the, I don't know, I can't find the words. So that is the stew. Boom. You see how like the, the changing of the color is happening? The changing of the color of the water is happening. So I'm going to turn this down some. So like a fiver, got my rice right there, boom, boom, and yeah, so uh, looks great. I'm gonna let it cook down some more, and I'm gonna turn it down to a three, because it's still a little going out of control, and I don't want it to cook too fast. I want it to cook down more than uh, just cook through and get like burnt at the bottom. And so boom, that's that. Got all our utensils, we're gonna put these somewhere, sink, Throw this out in the trash can. Alrighty, amazingly beautiful. Yet yeah, need some more time to to brew and get all actual cooked, like you know. Um, but it looks amazing. It's really really good. Let's stir this up. This bad boy just cook through and cook down. That's the. Uh... Oh, keep stirring and let it cook through the meats. When I was working at a Thai restaurant in college, they would add like all types of raw meat to like um to to stuff like this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not good for your your body. But I realized that's how they cook it, and it's perfectly fine for you. So that's one of the methods that I use today. All right, so this is done. All that splatter from all the stuff is on the stove, but it's okay. This is done. Turning this off. That's almost done. When that's when this rice evaporates out of the bottom. That's completely done too. I had to add a little more rice to it to make it like softer. It's a little hard, but it's okay. 
it's still gonna taste amazing. Take this off the eye and let it sit to the side. Actually, I don't want it next to that, uh, that raw meat container, so I'm just gonna try to turn it like as much as I can. But yeah, that's the, the meal, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on a plate. First thing you're gonna do, first you're gonna do stuff with a bed of rice, literally, like a, 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 a place of rice that all the rice can fit in, and that's all the rice out of that bowl. So this is actually great. Start off with a bed of rice. I'm gonna show y'all how much food this can actually make. These are two bowls right here, and this is what's left over. The only thing I need is more rice or something else to replace that. That can be mashed potatoes. That can be, honestly, I can just eat this by itself. So this is a $12 um, and some change meal. Um, and yeah, $12.87, I believe. Might have been. That's not it. So, so yeah, hope you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hope you guys like to comment and subscribe. Um, get you guys some good food, and especially during this time for the holidays, it's cold outside. It's some great comfort food, and it's food that can stretch, especially for entrepreneurship and people that just try to save money on, in general. I love you guys. Jesus loves y'all more. So I'm lazy, and I'm also watching my favorite show, Sisters. So I'm not gonna get up. So um, I'm about to show you guys my reaction of eating this, even though I already had a bite, and it's so good. Mmm. Mm. 10 out of 10. God, please allow us to have a great night tonight. Allow us to create, allow us to move in your spirit, and allow us to just flow and operate to do things that we want to do. But by your strength, in Jesus' name, amen. Peace.